Hey guys, in this video tutorial, I will show that uh, how to solve the uh, contact form error. So at the time, I'm using a DV theme. So this form is designed in DV theme. And now I'm going to click on uh, send uh, this uh, uh, data from the contact form. Okay. And uh, you will be see a confirmation message. Thank you for contacting us. Okay. So now I'm going to refresh uh, my email inbox. So I'm going to refresh in box and you will not uh, see any email here. Okay. So let's solve this issue. So now I'm going to back uh, to login to cPanel. And first time I'm going to check that uh, everything is okay in the DV theme uh, contact form. So now I'm going to click on uh, edit visual builder and let's see. So once you have to click on the contact form uh, module. So here you will see everything is okay name uh, country name and everything is okay and also the uh, email i write the email here but i cannot uh, show to you but it is also uh, okay so let me show yes this one is my email right so here is the email is also okay so now i'm gonna click on uh, this button and then click on save okay and then I back to the admin dashboard and from here you can install a new plugin I'm gonna click on add new and search here for SMTP okay and then you can uh, WP mail SMTP by WP form the most popular SMTP okay so now I'm gonna click on install now and then click on activate once the plugin as successfully activated so after that login to your cPanel okay so here as okay so now um, I'm gonna click on go back to the dashboard right okay we will do this setting later and first we have to log in to the cPanel and here here uh, is all the email available here okay so let me check my email here and this one and um, then I'm gonna click on uh, connect device okay so I'm gonna click on connect device once you click on uh, connect devices you will be see manual uh, client manual setting so these are all the setting now I'm gonna back to the WordPress uh, dashboard so here you will see WP mail SMTP so you can click on setting and let's click on uh, these settings and here you will see the setting now first time the test as it working the email is sent or not so I'm gonna click on testing and then I'm gonna click on send email okay there was a problem while sending the test email okay so again click on uh, setting and then scroll down uh, scroll down you can see here the other SMTP and then scroll down you have to uh, see SMTP host and copy the SMTP host from the server so I'm not from here here you will be see the SMTP host okay so I'm gonna click uh, incoming server this one copy okay and here you will see the SMTP host you can just put your uh, uh, hosting uh, your uh, domain name here here is the domain name and also you can put uh, the SMTP port so now I'm gonna copy the SMTP port from here right this one as the SMTP port I'm gonna copy and then I'm gonna paste here and then scroll down you will see other option user uh, SMTP uh, user so you can put uh, the email and also the email password here right so I'm gonna put uh, the email here right here I'm gonna put my email and password 
and then I'm gonna click on save setting so I'm gonna click on save not save at the time here and then I'm gonna click on uh, here the email testing make sure you have to put your email also here from email you can put your email here and this one as the setting okay here you have to select other SMTP and SMTP host your as your domain name and make sure you have to select this uh, TLS okay and this one as the port number and this one as the SMTP user and password of your email okay uh, click on save change save setting once it saves successfully then I'm gonna click on uh, test email so I'm gonna click here and let's try to test uh, the email is it working or not so I'm gonna click paste my email here and then click on send email okay wait good so the testing email has successfully uh, delivered okay so now I'm gonna refresh here here I'm gonna refresh my uh, hosting okay you will see this one as the SMT fee uh, this one as the testing email okay so now I want to send the email from uh, the uh, my website so I'm gonna again visit my site here okay so now I'm gonna fill the form testing and then company name I'm also write uh, testing and then I'm gonna write some dummy uh, phone number and here I'm gonna write uh, the email and also uh, testing email right and then I'm gonna click on send so wait okay now thank you for contacting us now I'm gonna refresh uh, uh, my inbox okay now I will receive the email and also data inside the email so in this way you can solve uh, the DV uh, contact form error and as well as elementary contact form error and also contact form 7 okay so if this video is helpful please subscribe my channel comment like and share thank you